Were I to wage a war on the wolves, you'd be my first kill. I would string you up for all your worshippers to see. I believe that was my brother's way of telling you he'd like you to return home with us. Perhaps try a different approach, Nick Klaus. Fewer references to murder. As much as I would hate to throw you over my shoulder and drag you kicking and screaming to the compound, we both know I will, for the sake of my child. One bad dream, and suddenly you want to be a responsible daddy. I promise. You forgot one thing in your attempt to plead your case. She's not your child. She's ours. Every good story needs a wicked witch. It'll be all the more satisfying when we melt her. You do realize it is not I who is to be the husband you can boss around. You do realize that I had to endure horrendous labor and actual death birthing the child that you're holding. Fine. I wish you would tell Elijah you're marrying your werewolf suitor, at which point I will pour him a scotch and congratulate him on the bullet he dodged. That obvious, huh? <clears throat> well, you both had a certain glow about you all morning. Frankly, I'm glad the two of you dropped your pretenses and, uh, shall we say, let the spirit move Okay, you. okay, okay. <laughs> Stop. Enough. You have to trust me. I do trust you. More than you know. You mark my words. If you ever betray her, I will find you and I will deposit your head on the end of a spike. If you just calm down and I keep do your eye on the prize. manage me. I have every right. On a scale of one to ten, exactly how much am I going to despise this little plan of yours? I'd say a solid 85. Oh, good. No more running. Queen. And a queen does not run. We need to talk. <sighs> Do we indeed? If you think I will allow hope out of my protection for a second. What you'll allow doesn't matter, Klaus. Welcome to a 21st century custody battle. Moms win them now. Ailey, this family comes with many, many hardships, but there is at least one benefit. You will always have a home here. What was it? Couldn't bear to spend another day giving Elijah the mournful doe eyes. <clears throat> that is none of your business. Right. It's only my brother and the mother of my daughter in my house in, oh, yes, my city. Weird. It's almost like you're making this all about you again. Who? You wake her up with all this slamming around. So help me, Cammy will be the least of your problems. It pains me that Hope is upset, so I'll add it to the long list of grievances. I'm already tallying. Absolutely not. I am gonna go speak to that girl because she needs my help. You're gonna stay here and shut up. Ah, city boy, huh? Wouldn't have guessed that. Never underestimate the allure of indoor plumbing. It seems I owe you an apology, little wolf. I've given you a thousand reasons to abandon me. You haven't yet. But are you sure you wouldn't be better off with your brothers? I can do the legwork. And split up the team now. Just when I'm discovering your carpool karaoke skills, I think not. <laughs> you sound like Camille. Seriously? Look, class, we both know how this is gonna go down. You're gonna tell me that I can't come, and then I'm gonna tell you that I love Rebecca, too. Then you're gonna say that I'm gonna slow you down, and I'm gonna remind you that you're the one who cursed me to be a werewolf for six months, and therefore I know every inch of the bayou. Now, unless you wanna be delayed by an angry werewolf grandma with a shotgun, you should just admit that you need me. I'll drive. 